hey, just out of it, who's, who's going to miss Bernie Sanders just a little bit, guy? Who's going to miss yeah. Bernie Sanders? A burn. few people. What do you think, Marama? Oh, I was feeling the burn. I really you, Are you yeah. feeling the burn? I was yeah. feeling the burn. Are you feeling... Huge, yeah, huge fan. Yep. Yeah. What about you feeling the burn <laughs> part? Uh, it's for um, American people to decide, oh. not for oh, me. Oh, come on. Oh, you can do it come on. Day. Hillary, no, for me. Hillary or Trump? Oh. Uh, theoretically, I theoretically. should be supporting... Yes, supporting Republican. Oh. Donald Trump. Republican oh. candidate. The, the Trump. Republican. Donald Trump. Oh. I didn't say that. It's for... No, Jill Stein, sure. Oh, you know, okay. what, what about you? Do you feel the yeah. burn? Jill Stein, the US Green Party. Yeah. And what they really need is, is a change to their electoral system so actually people can be represented All right. properly. OK, let's get into the rivers. This is a big issue here. Uh, the Greens, of course, have their annual party conference and they want to clean up ten rivers. They want the rivers to be swimmable and not just simply weightable. So my question on the panel before we get to uh, Hayley is, how, Kevin, how bad are the ten rivers you have in your sights? Well, they're pretty bad. I mean, that's not to say they're not swimmable all of the time everywhere, but each of those rivers, basically, before you swam in it, you would need to go to the website and check whether it was safe to do so in that particular so place. So what's, what's your plan for cleaning them up? Well, look, what we're saying is, actually, New Zealanders have the aspiration, that, like they remember, as you and I do, swimming, swimming in their rivers. That's what they want back again. They love those rivers. And what they want to do is, first of all, set the goal, swimmable, not wadeable. Then set the, the tools, the rules, the incentives, the enforcement of, of penalties that actually will get us to that point, and then set the budget. Okay. And government's 100 million over 10 years, that's rubbish. It's a total drop in the bucket. All right, Marama Fox, how bad are these rivers in Aotearoa? What do you reckon? Uh, he's completely right. We used to swim in rivers every single day around Wairarapa, and now yeah. there is probably two rivers that we would take our families to, and only way up into the mountains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you? How bad? Yeah. Because Manawatu is uh, yeah. arguably one of the world's worst rivers. Is that uh, right? I don't know if it's one of the world's worst, but look, it's I, pretty I, bad. I wouldn't look. We take the kids down to walk alongside the river all you the walk time. There's, there's no way I would let my kids get into the Manawatu River, and that's sad. Seriously? It's wrong. They, you know, no, they, I mean, it's it's their birthright. They're born as they're born in New Zealand. They Pardon. should be able to go down Pardon our Jean, local river and How swim. bad are New Zealand rivers? I'm delighted to see that greens have woken up. We are already leading oh, in this space. Sake. We introduced the first uh, national <laughs> policy. <laughs> statement We've on fresh water in 2011 decade. and new standards framework in yeah. 2014. And we are uh, investing it's heavily in the space. All right, OK. Uh, so yeah. you're showing Greens the light. Ah. We, uh, <laughs> we, we are investing <laughs> heavily <laughs> in this space. All right, All right OK. Right. So Kevin's cracking up over there. Yeah, we'll come to the next mess absurd I, I, wine. I, I, hands up those of you who have actually, because I, I can remember swimming in rivers when I was a teenager, the Mai Tai River, now that's my favourite river. Uh, around, the, around the audience, hands up who has swum in a river in the last year. Hands up. There's one. Can you just go to that, to that person there, Haiti, just briefly? This, the person with the hand up? What river were you swimming in? Um, well, so I'm from the Bay of Islands, so there's a few rivers up there that aren't too bad. Um, more in sort of the forestry areas and sort of around the mountains. I mean, how did it feel? Because the last time I swam in a river, I was pretty keen to get out because it, it, it felt muddy. They're not nice. They are full of runoff from the regional farms. And I just think it's a huge thing. You know, New Zealand's aesthetic is built around this clean, green image. And we, we can't swim in our rivers these days, and it's kind of sad. It's a bit of a lie, doesn't, isn't it? Yeah, it is definitely a lie. And we're sort of false advertising. Oh, <laughs> clean it up. Well, Hayley, you've got a guest, haven't you? I do. Shall I go straight? Well, here we are. I've got Grant Murr with me. He's a farmer at the Wairarapa and an environmentalist. And you are also advocating to clean up our rivers. How do you balance being a farmer and an environmentalist? Well, basically, um, it's about looking after the environment around you and caring about it. And water's the most important tool we've got as farmers. And farmers have been let down by the National Party, the National Government, for um, eight years now. I mean, federated farmers are doing nothing. Fonterra is doing nothing. A hundred million dollars that the National Party said they'd put to clean up rivers. They might as well dump a hundred million in the paddock and put a match to it for all the good it's going to do. I mean, they've set the national level so low, weightable. I mean, it is eight times more toxic than what 
uh, uh, fish can't live there. It's eight times more toxic for fish to live in the water at the level they see it. Is that not the farmer's fault rather than the government? No, it's not the farmer's fault because they need to be given guidelines by the government to what to work to. Now, you know, I can show you farms where they've planted riparian strips, where they've fenced it off, it looks beautiful, their neighbour right next door to them, the stock are in the water. You know? So it's, it's a really hard thing for farmers. You know, there's a lot of very, very good farmers that love their land, that love the water and the rivers and look after it, but their neighbour right next door is doing nothing. All right, thank you, Grant. Very passionate. Very good. Hey, round of applause for Ronald. Uh, thanks for coming along. Thank you, Hayley. Pick up, pick up to what he, he said there. It's, sh it's a shocking situation. Dog, Wait, talking about... Weightability, weightability is not the criterion we should use in an Aotearoa party. Uh, uh, talking about it's, $100 million in Budget 2016... It's uh, not a lot. In, uh, uh, ..under the Labour government from 2000 to 2008, there was <laughs> only $29 on. Eight million. Long years. Dollars. Eight and long then from years. 2008 to 2015, it was $115 million. And we have already implemented Waikato Cleanup uh, Program, uh, investing $250 million over 35 One years. One lake's going to take yes. about $140 million. $100 million across the... It's not, yeah. it's not enough. It's a it bit is, of a... It's, it's, it it's not enough. Look, it's what? not enough. And, and actually, the well, setting the target of weightable actually allows some waterways to degrade. Some of them are above that but standard can I, can now. I, so the government is saying they're happy for some clean waterways to get dirtier so that they can... and, and only okay, focus my, on the ones that are completely you, ruined. Before, my, my, will Labor commit then? Will Labor commit to making all rivers swimmable next election? Within a generation, yes. How long is that? What's the time frame? Well, it's 20, 25 years. OK. Yep. Look, Wallace, the, let's not let the Labour Party get away with this, because 60 years ago, before 60 they... 60 years ago, oh, God! <laughs> oh, 60 years ago, when the government started allocating water for use to farmers, to horticulture, to all of those things, Māori sat next to rivers in their pristine state and drank from them. We should be able to drink from them. Mm -hmm. And we've been, we've been cut out of the allocation, um, the allocation model. And the government says no one owns the water. Well, they act like they own the water, but they're not cleaning it up. And what we've done is put Manawati Wai in place. That's the little bit of influence we get, but it needs to be All so right. much well, more. Can I can response, thing? yes. Yeah. So, I mean, kia ora marama. Like, drinkable is a better standard. We should aspire yes. to that. A lot of people might think $100 million sounds like a lot, but it's over 10 years. Yeah. And to give it perspective, the government is spending 200 times that amount on roads of national significance. So 200 times as much building new motorways as it is cleaning up can our you, can, can you see what Pumji says, though? I mean, it's not, this is not a national party issue. We've had nutrient runoff into our rivers for decades. This is a decade-long right. issue, you see. So, right. so you're blaming... But now we is, know what the is, effects are. And, yeah. and, and now we're now aware it. of what we have All right, and, this, and we've got and to this take is, action. This is one of our top environmental priorities, and it's us who has taken the lead in this space. Well, no, right. it's, no, 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 no. it's no, national you are, who yes, right now are is not doing default. nearly enough. No. All right, okay, look, I want to see what I want to hear what you guys think about it at Backbenders TV. Should they be swimmable, weightable, or indeed, uh, as the Oakley Creek Reserve suggests, should they be drinkable?